It began with the January Revolution, with such promise and bright hopes, but ended in failure. Mohamed Morsi. As he campaigned for the presidency, he promised to fulfill the dreams of those who gathered in Tahrir Square and unite all of the Egyptian people. In a year, he left Egypt divided. Egypt, the homeland of a proud people, a great nation through the millennia with an ancient culture, unmatched around the globe, had earned her right to see the sunrise of a new day. Egypt, a nation bursting with potential, poised for a new era of prosperity at home and to take its rightful place in the world economy. However, such bright promise and such great hope grew dim in just a few months, because Mohamed Morsi's Egypt was not the people's Egypt. Inflation and unemployment soared. Shortages of gasoline, bread, and the basics of human life were common. Rolling electricity blackouts were frequent, leaving Egyptian homes and businesses in the dark. In fact, darkness might be the best word to describe the rule of Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood. Mervat Talaway is president of the National Council for Women in Egypt and fought for 40 years for more rights for women. She says the rise of the Muslim Brotherhood was a dark time for women's rights in her beloved nation. It was a very uh, sad era in our life, women in particular. The whole country, but women in particular. As soon as they got uh, parliament, the first important issue for them was to revoke all the, le the, the legislation concerning women. So women were target number one for this parliament. He promised his leadership would not mean a government run by religious extremists, but handed the government over to the Muslim Brotherhood. Egypt has for decades set itself apart from many of its neighbors in the region because of its tolerance and different religious beliefs. Under Morsi, that historic tolerance slipped away. Instead of more freedom, more restrictions. Instead of a constitution for all Egyptians, Morsi's rule eliminated the moderates and liberals he promised to work with and elevated his Muslim Brotherhood partners to powerful positions another broken promise. Dr. Mahmoud Kabich is the Dean of the Faculty of Law at Cairo University, and what he saw disturbed him on many fronts. Dr. Boutros Boutros Ghali served the world as the sixth United Nations Secretary General. During his tenure, he deftly handled many world crises like the civil war in Yugoslavia, which ended in peace. For him, the Muslim Brotherhood and their connections to global terrorists is the opposite of peace and stability. However, you don't have to be a formal global leader, or lawyer, or women's rights leader to understand. Walk down the street in Cairo and ask most any shop owner or person about the experiment with Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood. Mohammed 
ما فيش حاجه غيروا فيها صح يعني ما فيش اي حاجه غيروا فيها صح زي القضاء اللي بدا ان هو يشكله على دماغه هو على هيئته الخاصه زي النيابات اللي هو بدا يحطها نيابات لي الهيئات والجمعيات الشرعيه اللي بدا يحطها لحسابه ولحساب الاخوان ولحساب اهلي وعشيرتي وبعدين الناس ترجع تقول لك ده سنه ما لحقش هو ده, ده لو قعد سنه ثانيه كنا احنا موت The people had waited more than a generation for a true democracy. In 2012, they took to the streets and rejected the old ways of an old regime with an old and outdated system. What they did not want was to replace one bad government with an even worse one, this time controlled by extreme elements. Elements that would sell precious assets like the Suez Canal and invite terrorist organizations that killed Sadat to officially commemorate the 6th of October and his death. Now Morsi and the Brotherhood are gone, thanks to a second revolution in June, in which 33 million Egyptians said enough. This revolution is different. This revolution is powered by a constitution written for all Egyptians. This revolution is driven by ideas, not extremism, this revolution will fulfill those bright promises once made. And most importantly, this revolution is for the next generation. I'm <laughs> 